Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are taking a look at the brand new updates that are now available in Unreal Engine 4.24 within the modeling section. So just in case you have no idea, you can actually model directly in Unreal Engine and this is still within its beta. So how do you get things going? So for you to get things going, you need to open up your Unreal Engine after you've installed it, go over to edit, go over to plugin and right here, simply search for the word mesh so once you do that you will be able to notice that we have uh, things like modeling tool editor and also polygon editing so turn this on and restart your unreal engine so it will require you to restart your unreal engine and once that's done you would notice that you have within the mode section that there is now modeling so simply turn on that modeling and you notice that you have a couple of bars here and also a setting you know set of bars so let's go ahead and take these ones off First things first, there is a primitive section which you can use to create primitives, you know, just like it said, press enter to confirm and you can create a couple of other things. There is a create section which you can use to define and create your own stuff. Simply go in there and start making polygons. So let's actually make something like so, click right here, over here and that automatically makes a polygon for you. So at this point you can start playing with this. And once you're done, click on complete. There's a couple of other things that you can play with here, like the type and also how you like to start making the creation. Now, once this is done, click on complete. And you'd also notice that we also have another creation tool called the poly part. Now, there is a couple of updates that have been made for this one. And we are also going to talk about them. So for the poly part, if I would like to make a part, which I would like to convert to a polygon, you need to make a closed part first. And then you can simply go in there and define the size. Now, once you define the size or the width, you can click and start defining the height. Now, this is also another cool way that you can start making and creating things directly here in Unreal Engine. So for me, I think these are some very, you know, nice stuff that you can have. And by the way, once you select these and select the both of them, you can actually do some very cool boolean right now. So this is also a very cool update. So once you select one object, select the next one, you can do some mesh boolean and you can simply go ahead and play with this boolean. And this is, you know, this is pretty nice. You can set the operation type however you choose from here. So if you like to get some inset, if you like to get a trim, if you like to get, you know, things like A minus B, yep, you can do all of this. Let's actually go all the way back. So let's uh, select this right here and delete that and take a look at the brand new Poly Revolve. So once you click on the Poly Revolve right now, you would notice that it offers you, let's bring this one down, all right? So you would notice that it offers you a very tiny grid. Now this is where you can do all of your designs, okay? So for this one, we are going to go through and make something as simple as, uh, let's do one, a two, let's do something like this. Trying to make this stuff, so I'm also gonna click here and we would like to define the profile and click right here, automatically you would notice that we have this made. So you can go in and crank up the scale depending on what you want. And you can also choose if you like this to revolve by 360 or if you like to make something out of it. So this is also very cool for prop design. So for those who are into, you know, making props, you might actually want to take a look at this one and you can do a couple of things with this. Now, once you're done, you can also go in there, select any of the nodes and you can start making real time changes. So you can click and start making these changes. And this is uh, this is pretty neat. Click over here and you can go in there and start making a couple of changes like this. So you can scale this as much as you want, play with this however you choose and make a couple of LODs if this is also something that you're going for. So to me, I think this is a very nice update to see. But one thing which I'm also thinking, you know, that they should have implemented is the fact that you can actually go in and is the fact that you should be able to add additional points where you don't have. So at this point, I can go in and add additional points. And I think maybe this is something that will be added in the future as it's actually something that doesn't exist right now. All right, so let's take a look at some very cool updates right here. So with this now, what we're going to do is uh, we will do something pretty interesting. Let's actually make this a voxel object. All right, so that's cool. And then if we jump back to where we have our deforms, I would like to show you guys this displacement. So we actually talked about the smooths, we haven't talked about the displacement, and I think we already covered the offsets in previous videos, so you might want to check that one out. 
So once you click on the displays, what happens is there are a couple of displacements that you have going on here. So this includes like the parallel noise, the constant, you know, the texture to the map, which means you can load in your own textures and you can see that right here, which you can use to drive this. And then there is the sine wave and also, you know, like the constant. So we're just going to keep this at parallel noise and you can play with the intensity of you know how much you want this to displace now once this is done what would happen is you can simply go in there and click on accept now for some reason this says that the desired number of subdivision which is four exceeds the maximum number of two so what do we do let's cancel this select this object and take a look at the remesh so once we click on the remesh right now you can now start noticing that we have some stuff remeshing and we can play with the target count all the way down so let's actually downscale this about a point like so let's preview this and see what we have so let's see this doesn't look bad so let's actually crank this maybe a little bit up so that we can get something that looks pretty pretty nice and this doesn't look bad at all and once we have this going we can also switch to say we would like this you know the smoothing type to be more uniform and for those who like to simply preserve the shape you can also do that now once you have this going next thing which you like to do is just click on accept and we are going to jump back to take a look at the displacement now once we turn on that displacement you can start seeing that we have some very interesting stuff going on so we can zoom right in there let's actually bring this down i think we took it up a bit so we can bring this down and right here we can start making some you know displacement uh, decisions so depending on what you like to do you can actually displace this and get some very cool result out of it now for the subdivision we can drop this down to one since we really don't want any subdivision and you can change these things and you know get the most out of it moving on from the displacement let's actually take a look at space deform so there are some deformers that you can now use right here so if you like to deform things based on flare twist or even bend you can now simply start working with this so there is a very tiny update to the poly edits for those who would like to start making some polygonal edits directly here and that has to do with once you jump over to where you have you know your poly groups there is a poly edit so with a poly edit you can do some very cool things now so you can simply select any part and you can do some insertion so let's insert that about a point like this and for extrude of course we can extrude this inwards and also outwards so you can start doing some very lovely things like this now one thing which i actually felt that was going to be coming is the bridge so there is no bridge right now and also there is no um bevel so i wasn't able to find the bevel tool so if you would like to bevel stuff there is just a very tiny old trick that you can use which is you know selecting this part moving it all the way to that part you can also use the poly insert tool so if i simply select the poly insert tool i can now insert multiple parts so i can insert on one part and on the other part if you like to insert evenly you can also increase the number and then you can go in and start inserting stuff evenly across your entire model so you can do all of this stuff and let's actually do that and click on accept to get this going and with that done you can simply go in there and start doing the most with your amazing models so this is definitely going to be about it right here we have a couple of updates and these updates are very very interesting as we've seen that there is you know the brand new primitive section and there are some updates within the create section which we've looked at and for those who like to do some transform the form and also work with some of this new set of tools you can literally go in there and start working with it simply take a look at the previous video that we've done and see some of these tools in action and also see how you can best start working with them and once you're done making your models of course it's as easy as ever if you like to start making things like you know materials you can just simply go in there right click and throw in a material for those who like to make materials for the model and you can click drag and drop onto that model to start making the material and you can always go in and make edits for your material if this is also something that you're interested in as if we press the tab key right now we can simply look for a constant and we can look for maybe a three vector constant and drop that right over here connect this right to the base and then you can start making your color decisions as well so this same thing applies for textures and it also applies for other things that you can do right here in unreal engine and before we go let's actually look at one more thing if you would like to create any of these things these models here within the primitive section they are all surface 
oriented okay so they're all surface oriented so if you click on any of these for example let's say the disk and you would like to create this disk you can see that right now it's staying there but once we run this through a surface you see it aligns to that surface and if you are not okay with this you can always make that change here to ground plane and that's going to stick only to the ground plane if you want this to be on the scene you can set that and these will stick to the scene and that's definitely going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you would like to try out this version of epic games on real engine you can simply go over to the link in the description and download yourself a fresh copy and test these things out tell me what your thoughts are and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace